City Councilman Franny Rafferty thinks yesterday's resolution to make June Gay and Lesbian Pride Month is an abomination. So does Councilman Thatcher Longstrand. Angel Ortiz introduced the measure, and gay news editor Mark Siegel says it's about time. Today, all four face off. Plus, Ghostbusters 2 is the... Liz, thank you very much. Uh, while you were watching Ghostbusters last night, earlier in the day, in Philadelphia City Council, there was another show of a kind put on, and it had to do with a very controversial resolution where City Council, by the slimmest of margins, nine yes, eight no, voted on a resolution introduced by Councilman Angel Ortiz that makes June Gay and Lesbian Pride Month in the city of Philadelphia. Now, you might remember a year ago, that same uh, resolution was introduced, and after a lot of controversy, it was defeated. This year, not so. Council has said this is Gay and Lesbian Pride Month, and this is not very much to the delight of the eight people who voted against it, two of whom are with us this morning. First of all, Councilman Francis Rafferty is with us. In debates of past, he has referred to homosexuals in Philadelphia and everywhere as deviates. And we'll talk to him in a second. Councilman Thatcher Longstreth is with us. He joins, even though they're different parties, he joins Councilman Rafferty in his opposition. In yesterday's debate, he referred to them as fairies. Angel Ortiz is with us. He is the city councilman who offered this resolution yesterday and ultimately was successful in getting the nine votes that he needed. And last but not least, the editor, publisher of the gay news, Mark Siegel, who's watched this thing first get defeated and then ultimately turn into victory. When, a council, when an individual of public office calls a homosexual community fairies, what does it do? Well, I first want to answer the question that Rafferty asked at the council session yesterday. He asked, what do gay people have to be proud about? Now, we've answered this many times before, but in his learned way, he never listens. And I want to make him make clear now. It was gay people in Philadelphia who got Center City together to organize an organization to fight the prostitutes and the burglaries and the rip-off rip -off artists throughout Center City. It was gay people who got Society Hill organization together to fight and clean up <coughs> that neighborhood. And it was gay people who got involved with many other community-based organizations, especially the South of South organization now fighting City Hall about low-cost housing. It was also gay people or gay person who saved the life of former President uh, Gerald Ford during that uh, assassination okay, attempt. Well, wait, wait, no, we don't need a history of the but gay I think, rights movement. I, I, think, I, think I'm wrong. Answering I think you're phrasing the question, you know, in, in a wrong way. Why? Yeah, because, you know, it's, it's, it's essentially what the, 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 the gay pride resolution goes to essentially creating an atmosphere of tolerance in the city. Uh, right now in this city, we are going through a, a, a phase, a, uh, a period of time in which intolerance is rampant. Uh, we see it all the way from uh, what we see in Port Richmond, what happened to Sean Daly, what happened to uh, uh, Rosa and the, the lady, the Puerto Rican lady who was uh, driven out of the neighborhood. We, we, we see it everywhere today. And, and, and when someone, someone begins calling other people names, uh, it begins debasing the basic humanity of those individuals. Councilman and I think, I think that's, that's the issue here. Councilman Lucian Blackwell yeah. said he came out of that session yesterday and he was ashamed of council. You two gentlemen were very active. No, he didn't say he was ashamed of council. Read the paper. He said he was ashamed last year when he voted against it. That he left council last year. This morning's paper, no, Councilman no. Blackwell says that he was ashamed no. of the debate that went on in the no, council. No. I'm not going to argue rhetoric no, no. with I, you. I am Councilman, it is not Councilman, rhetoric. Hold on a second. What is your, your response to this? My response to that is very simple. Uh, you know, there, there's been an attempt, a consistent attempt by these people to get the city of Philadelphia, by virtue of city council, to, to approve of their lifestyle, okay? If they, if they want to live the way they want to live, fine. Do what you want to do, but don't ask for our approval. Don't ask for us to vote on some resolution that, it, that is obnoxious to eight of us at least. Okay. Right, that pride for Irish people? Would you vote for that? Why don't you shut up? When I'm done, you can let talk. It, let him respond. Mean, you're, 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 you're Mark, let him respond to the person. question. You're showing what you are, okay? That's, and that's exactly what you You've people are. You've never answered that question. You've never answered the question about violence. Let him respond to the question, let please. Let me tell you something. You people create nothing but malice. You give birth to nothing but frustration and failure. I don't know where you think you should be proud okay. of anything. You, you, you are want us to share Father's Day with you. Councilman, I'm not going to try. Ain't none of your fathers. I'm not going to try to outshout you. You are proud, uh, no doubt, of your Irish heritage. No doubt about it. Okay. He says... Can you respect him when he says, if you call me a deviant or if you call me a fairy, it's like calling you, or for that matter, me, a mick? No, that's, that, that is so ridiculous. How is it different? Very simple, okay? I'm an Irishman, okay? I was born an Irishman. He is, I understand, Jewish. Is that right? Yeah. You were born Jewish. Were you, were you born gay? 
Were yes, you born gay? As far as I'm concerned, I right. was. Would you spread your ill on, on some little child? I mean, being Irish is not is not perverting some kid, but being gay is perverting some child. According and to that's you. exactly what According you foster. You. That's no exactly what you foster. That. No that's science. exactly what you Only foster. You, some poor child who may be on on on, Fran, on, the, on this, you're upset because you who may go this way or that way, you but want that kid to talk. fall over to you, okay? Some sick person like yourself. Yeah, nothing to be proud of. Let me tell you something. I have lots to be nothing proud of, Fran. Okay, we're, I, we're going nowhere with this. Councilman Longstreth, as you look at the nine votes that they were put together, are you surprised that your brothers and sisters on city council, that he was able to get the political power to do this? Oh, yeah. I, I, I think it's obvious why. Uh, there are a certain number of, uh, of people who are uh, homosexuals in Philadelphia, uh, and it is hoped by the people who voted for that bill that they'll be able to attract their votes the next time they ran. I mean, I think it's a fairly open and shut thing. It's not unusual at all among ele elected officials. But I want to I clarify one thing, if I might, uh, in terms of my feeling uh, about homosexuals, uh, whom I call fairies. I've called them fairies since I was a small boy. That's what we always called them, fairies. And that's now derogatory. Now, they like to, please shut up. No, it's derogatory. Okay. I'm not going to sit here please and let you use let that him, word. Let him finish. As far as I'm concerned, let yeah, her well, finish his statement. Close your mouth. Mark, mouth. Mark you let him finish the statement, talk. and then I will give you the opportunity, okay. ample opportunity. Let me, to me tell you, respond. people like you do more harm for your cause than anyone else I know. We are going along in a, in a Make a, the general world, statement. I don't want to get into personal In a world today which attempts to understand other people and to live with other people. But we don't approve of what they do. As a matter of fact, we're disgusted and revolted by their lifestyle. I am by yours. I'm not trying to take your job away. I'm not trying, trying to take your right to have a house to do all the things that you want to do. But when you come and try and tell me that your lifestyle is one that should be exalted, of which we should be proud, I can't accept that. I and I call you fairies because I don't like to call you gays. I regard a gay as a wonderful word a word that makes me happy, a word that I look at as a, as a happy word. When we were young and gay, etc. Okay. I prefer a to response, call you fairies. It's a, the same thing as gay. A response after this commercial break, I promise you. Don't go away. Ah. This year, billions of hot dogs will be... Okay. Uh, Philadelphia's very controversial gay rights ordinance, which carries the force of council. Nine votes yes, eight votes no. Two of the no votes over here. Uh, one of the yes votes is, as a matter of fact, the legislator who introduced it on Hal Ortiz and gay news editor Mark Siegel. Go. You wanted but to say? I, I think, I think we, we, you know, you're getting into the overall emotional aspect. And what you have to do is begin putting into perspective. The resolution says that gay people in this city, gay people, gay and lesbian folks in the city have a right to be proud of themselves and they have a right to be able to celebrate their 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 way of, of feeling about themselves in a way that they any way they want as long as it's, it's lawful as long as it's, it's, it's within the parameters of that society allows and so on and that's all the resolution says the resolution says that people of gay and lesbian lifestyle can feel proud during this month and, and do and hold celebrations. And your reaction it, to the criticism does, that you're just trying to get votes is what? Uh, well, I, if I was trying to get votes, I could, I could really choose other less controversial subjects to introduce resolutions about. I'm trying to begin to deal with the intolerance that is permeating the city. I am trying to deal with okay. the aspect that someone says that I've been calling people fairies since I was eight years old and now this person is 70 and still hasn't no, learned learn that you don't call people by those names any longer. There are those it's, people it's like, who say that it's when, like, it's when like, we, it's 40 like or 50 person, years ago, we, we call people, excuse spics. me, we call them, yes, and we call spics, them spics. And that hopefully our yeah. vocabulary has grown up and, with us. And I do believe that... I, I regard fairy as a perfectly pleasant word, <coughs> just as equivalent of gay. They prefer to call themselves gay. I prefer to call them fairies. I see no well, difference. If you I, want to get technical, they're homosexuals. I'm they, perfectly willing to call them homosexuals see, the most of the time. Now basic. and then I think fairy sort of levens it up what, and lightens what, it up what a little you, bit. What you're, you're like trying, a part-time bigot what you're who trying, occasionally throws in a nigger or a meg or a trike. I think as far as you're concerned, I am a part-time bigot. I'll accept trying, that with some pride. What, what the name calling does, what the name calling does is essentially that it debases, debases the debate. And it, it takes away from the humanity of people. It takes away the basic humanity of the person so that you're no longer talking about Mark Siegel, publisher of a newspaper in this mm -hmm. city. 
You're not talking any longer about it. You're talking about a fairy. You're talking about a faggot. And, that's, and that debases this person as a human being. Councilman Rafferty, yeah. would you agree with that? Do you rob an individual of his dignity or her dignity when you refer to them by the name deviate or fairy? No, you know, let me tell you what's wrong with these guys. They're always hiding behind uh, somebody else, the Jews, the blacks, the Puerto Ricans. They can't ride on their own merits, okay? They have to, they have to hide their lifestyle behind some other minority group. So this makes them look like, hey, I'm one of the, 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 the guys who are always getting beaten. And let me tell you, they were the first ones to call people gay bashers. They are the first ones to go out cruising. Do you know why they got, tried to get rid of the prostitutes on Locust Street? Because they were taking up their, their, their corners. That's what they were doing. These guys are out cruising in parks just like prostitutes okay, do. Let me ask you a question, And they want us to be proud of Wait. You mentioned gay bashers. I want to know why you want us to pass a resolution to make you proud of what you're are you doing. Why do you want us to approve of it? Are you against people to go out and beat gay people? Why do you want us to approve of it? Are you against people to go out and beat gay people? Why do you want us to approve your stuff? You want to answer, Why do you want us to approve your stuff? you're the kind of guy that infiltrates the city with nothing more than we are. Why do you want us to approve of your stuff? We are in 1989. Can't you go in your own merits? What's your question? Can't you go in Why do you want us to approve of your lifestyle? Why should there be a resolution? Let me answer the question. I want you to accept my lifestyle and me as an individual and the things I contribute to this city. Because I accept what you contribute to the city, what Mr. Uh, Longstreth contri contributes to the city, or any other person that wants to make this a better city. I want to make it a better Body, city. Da, my da, community goes. Who are you kidding? I, you never voted for me. You, you don't accept my lifestyle. Okay. What do you say about well, the question of well, gay bashing? Well, you, you say to those individuals who are accused and convicted of gay bashing, should they be prosecuted to the full extent of Let the law? Let me tell you something. He won't answer was, the question. And it was just in the answer paper. Question. It was just in the paper, and I will answer that, okay? Gay bashing is, is a figment of their imagination, most of it. There was two of them. The DA's office just prosecuted for perjury, okay? But dropped the charges because... They admitted that they weren't beat up by, by uh, heterosexuals. Give a national figure, right. why don't you? National, most right. abused people in this country are, are senior citizens and women. And you <laughs> clowns want to come in like you're one of them. You know what I mean? You want everybody to feel sorry for you. When you provoke most of it, you provoke most of it, you're out cruising, some guy's walking maybe with his kid or somebody, and you come hobbling up like a little tweet that you are, and you, you want a piece of this guy, and he rejects you, and you don't like it. Friends. So right away, he's a gay basher. Can I present a slightly you got more different excuses point of view? You, well, can present I think we have a right variety to of, this. You can present a variety of different <laughs> points of view at, right after this break. Don't go away. see this morning the debate over Philadelphia's controversial gay and lesbian pride resolution. Councilman Thatcher Longstreth. I want to make it very clear. No, I do not approve of gay bashing. No, I don't approve of, of actions or legislation which prevents uh, uh, people who uh, are different uh, from having jobs, from living in certain areas, from enjoying the privileges well, uh, of the regular American citizen. What I do disapprove of is for the homosexual community to try and present to the general public that they should be proud, that they have things that, that they should feel very good about, uh, and that they are simply uh, equal but different. In, in I your don't work, accept in, that. In your opinion, a, a, they are gay because of what? I think they're sick. I think they're ill. I think it's a mental illness or another kind of illness that's born into them, and I would sympathize. I would be willing to give money to help them regain their, their presence from this. I felt this always. I think most Americans do feel that way. Councilman and Rafferty, you feel the same way? You think they're sick? Oh, definitely. Without a doubt. Uh, your Without response a doubt. is what? Both of you? No, I think, I think look, Anybody they're citizens of Philadelphia. Guys, they're girl, they are not crazy. sick. They're people who are in every sector of life and society in Philadelphia. They're policemen. They're lawyers. They're writers. They're, they are in all sectors of life. And I believe that they should be respected and all as getting human beings. Caught perverting kids. And no, as no, human no. beings. I don't care what they have you. Heterosexuals are caught perverting kids. Heterosexuals no more than are caught perverting kids. I am I am I am Catholic, I am straight, I am heterosexual. I believe people have to be respected. I, pe I believe people have a basic human dignity that they can be proud of. Okay, how sore are you about losing? You lost. Uh, look, I ain't sore. I'm just disappointed. And I'm really sorry for the people of this city that we have to put up with people like that, that we have to honor people for their lifestyle. Not for being Jewish, Irish, Italian, but for their lifestyle. That's are, you disappointed in, in, are you disappointed in the people who voted for it? Oh, sure I am. Of course I am. I think m most of them did it out of votes. I don't think I don't think anybody did out of vote. Votes. I think people like on, like Lucian like Lucian like Lucian Blackwell said yesterday. He's uh, running for mayor. He's running for mayor. He felt he felt uh, he felt the shame last year. You probably run for mayor. 
You felt the shame last like year. He never mentioned feeling yeah. ashamed last yeah. year. I kept quiet for a while. Then when, the when, you got, when you went to these people and you asked for their vote, did you say, hey, look, we've got the city's leading gay newspaper, and I've got a lot of people who will follow what I say. Pride if you vote the way I want, we will endorse you the next time around once. for mayors. Prior to Philadelphia the election committee, which went and asked people to vote for this bill, spent time quietly talking to council people, explaining the issues. When we found intelligent council people who would listen to the facts and not to myth or mythology or to their own bigotry, or imagery that they had since they were uh, 10 years old, we were able to talk to them and we were able to get their votes. That's simple. And what I ask these two gentlemen to do is to learn the facts. I listen to you, I listen to your no, people, you can, can I, I, mean, I, I listen, listen to, to everything you had to say. Don't tell me that you didn't I just uh, listen to you. come Let into me. me. Would, uh, I didn't come you come up with yes, figures, you, you say the 10% of, of the people in this country are homosexuals. Right. Right. Now you say that 20% of the people are homosexuals. You have no facts to prove any of these. I didn't say that. Come to me with some facts. David Cohen said that. I don't believe this 9 to 1 ratio. I don't see any evidence that what you tell me is true. Now you see what went out in council yesterday. It goes on here today. And our thanks to all the participants. David Cohen. Gentlemen, thank you. Thank you very much. The Gay Pride Resolution is, in fact, something that did pass council, and we thank you all for being with us. Stay with us as Anne Philadelphia continues.